about what's in my bag, or more importantly, what's in my carry-on. Now, I travel the majority of the year, and as you guys know, I am a photographer, and I'm also a designer, and that requires a lot of technology, which unfortunately is way too fragile to go into my suitcases, and so it travels in my carry-on with me, which means I need a massive bag. So for my carry-on, guys, I am using a ThinkTech folder. Um, didn't specifically choose this bag for any reason except for the fact that A, my husband said it was a great brand, and B, I found it at Matt Granger's um, garage sale, and it was super cheap compared to its actual price, and it is really handy. It is filled with heaps of padding for all of my technology, and it can fit in so much stuff, which you'll definitely see in this video. So that's pretty much a quick look at the interior. All these panels are customizable, so I can do what I want with them. There is a laptop sleeve with a tablet sleeve, and also up the top here, there's a few pockets where I can put in SD cards or any small technology. A little pocket up here where I normally put my passport and phone when I'm traveling on the plane. And another tiny pocket, which is great for if I want to put an or an SD card while I'm working. So, that's the massive bag which I use, which is normally way overweight for going on the airline, but I get away with it. So, let's talk about what I put in my bag. How about we start off with the obvious, my D750 camera with my 24-70mm to Tamron lens. I um, can't show you at the moment because you're watching this video through it, um, but it is my love of my life besides my husband. I love this camera and this lens. I pretty much don't take off my camera for anything unless I'm doing really specific photography. So that's my basic camera setup and that also has a UV filter on it and the Nikon camera strap. To go along with my camera I have quite a few bits and bobs. Um, the only other lens that I bring with me is my 50mm because it's, it's a 1.8 yeah, 1 to 1.850 mil. Um, the own, this is the only other lens I actually own myself. My husband owns the rest of the lenses that you see me using, and hopefully I'll have more in the collection by the time you see this video. Um, this is really handy. I like using it for just going out in the street because it's a lot smaller than my 24 to 70 mil. Um, and also, it was super cheap, and it was the first lens that I got to go with my camera, and it is so beautiful in low light. Along with that, I have a couple lens hoods to go with my lenses. And then I have a couple new things. So, this is my new camera strap, which I have yet to use yet because I'm always using it on the tripod lately. Um, but this is supposed to be fit specifically for women. Um, it is the Black Rapid strap. It was really comfortable when I bought it, again, at the same garage sale. Um, but we'll see how it goes in the field when I'll be using it this afternoon. I also have my cactus um, flash. I didn't bring with me my flash adapter to take it off my camera because of the fact that I am traveling overseas, I'm in the Philippines right now, and being able to set up my light like that just isn't a possibility, so I'm only going to be using this flash on camera. It's been really handy so far, but it's chewing through, my AA battery is like nothing. That is something I need to put in my bag, some more AA batteries for this thing. Came in a neat little case too. The next thing which I have in my bag and I use for almost every day is my GoPro 3 Plus Black Edition. So this is my GoPro 3 Plus Black Edition. I use it for every day, as I said. I just use it for taking random videos when I'm walking around the street. It's really non-invasive, which is great. I can switch on and off and it has great quality video. And also I'm not afraid about it getting damaged. I carry it around in like a simple case which I can give it for free from a tour in China. Um, which is absolutely fantastic and it always has this waterproof case on just in case. Um, I have the bits and bobs which go with it. I have a couple of USB HD, mini HDMI cables for it to go into my computer. I also have the um, mini SD cards for it. Just a simple manual because I'm only new to using it and I like to have it there just in case there's anything new which I want to do with it and I don't quite know how to do it. I know I can look it up on the internet but it's always nice to have this with me. Then I just have random connectors which go with my GoPro. I don't really use these because I pretty much hand hold it and I know it's really bad because my videos are really shaky. Um, but again, I don't really have time to just go around and connect it to things and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a car I can use it on and I don't have any of the straps yet where I can strap it to my body. So I carry these just in case. And finally, I have a spare battery for my GoPro. 
equipment when it's coming to my camera and my photography side of my equipment which I have with me is a spare battery for my Nikon D750, my battery charger and the cord which goes with that. So the last thing to do in my photography is my cord for my um, IO shutter. It is fantastic, it's so sad that IO shutter is now no longer running, its company has liquidated, but it is great to use and I currently use this with um, the Trigger Trap, um, yeah, the Trigger Trap app on my iPhone and it is fantastic. I would recommend if you see these in the shops just grab them, get the free Trigger Trap app and it's great. So if I want to take photos of myself or want to take photos with me in it or want to take long exposures where I don't shake the camera with my hand, these have all these different features where I can connect it up, I can use my phone as a controller or I can use clapping or clicking or even just my face recognition to take photos and it's brilliant. I'll talk more about this in another video. The last thing here also is just a tripod connector. This is funny, this is for a tripod which I don't actually have with me but I have others and the tripod I'm using currently but they don't go on my carry-on because they're a bit big and I'm already way over the weight limit. So yeah, so that's all my camera stuff. So let's move on to my design stuff before I get into my daily essentials. The most important thing I have right now is my laptop. It is the MacBook Pro 2012. I love it. It's getting a bit slow now, which I'm so terrified about because I don't really like how they've gone with the new MacBook Pro and I really don't have the money to afford it. But yeah, I use this every day for design, photography, absolutely everything. This is my connection to the world when I'm overseas. To go along with my MacBook Pro, I also have my MacBook Pro charger cable. I don't really have a separate case for my MacBook Pro at the moment because I tend to just chuck it in my bag and hope for the best, um, but hopefully one of them will come along shortly. My next thing which I use in my computer is my Wacom tablet. I got this in 2009. Um, it is an Intuos 2 or 3, I think. It is getting quite old now, but really there's no wear and tear on this thing. I've used it for years and years and told myself how to use it. I don't really use any of the buttons on it because I tend to use my keyboard for shortcuts, but it is absolutely fabulous and decided to travel it even though it's extra weight just because it helps with fine tuning of my edits for photography and when I don't want to draw on my iPad, which I'll show you in a second, it's great for drawing on my computer, way better than a mouse. So I would recommend buying one of these, one of the new edition, it's like only $200. Um, when this one was $500 when I got it and it's so old now. As I was saying, I have um, an iPad Pro. It is absolutely fabulous. I got the gold one. I got 120 gigabytes and I use it for everything. I'll take this to work with me, to work while we're rehearsing um, in any of my downtime. I also got the Apple Pen with it, um, which is a lifesaver. It's the best stylus I've ever used and I've had a few. I've had the jot note for my old iPad, which was, I think, iPad 2. Um, I've tried the Wacom tablets. I went into the stores and I tried the Surface Pros, but nothing compares to the beauty of this stylus. Only downside is you have to charge it, but then it lasts four days. So it's okay if I forget to charge it. And it takes like 30 seconds, no, it takes 15 seconds to get 30 minutes charged. If I just want to finish up a drawing, it is fantastic. I highly recommend this to anyone who just wants a tablet to do anything with, um, especially for creatives. I find that for me it's fantastic because I'm an artist, but my husband, who is not Apple-centric like me, just because that's what happened, um, he found it not as useful and would prefer to get something like the Surface so it connects better with his Windows devices. Because the main reason to get the Apple Apple Trinity is because they work beautifully together and it's very difficult to break out of that. So that was great marketing Apple, but I hate it for it. Going back to my computer things, I have two hard drives with me. I normally carry more, but again, I'm traveling overseas, so it is a bit difficult to carry that much. But I have my main hard drive here, which of course has a cord to go with it. Um, and I have a hard case for this one. I have this plugged into my computer 24 7 because I have all of my design assets on it. Then I have my second one, which is pretty much an identical hard drive, but it just backs up all my information, which reminds me I have like a month and a half worth of projects just on on this thing, so I really need to back it up. I always recommend backing up your work because you never know what's happening, and especially for me when I'm traveling, I just don't want to take the risk. Okay, we are almost done, I promise. Next thing, which is coming into more of my daily essentials, is my um, power bank. I use this 
all the time. It's mainly to do with when I'm at work and I've been using my phone or iPad all day or when I'm at the airport if I have a really long travel day, like sometimes they can exceed 30 hours. This saves your life because you can recharge your phone, you always have contact, you can have the internet to double check your flight details and everything. It is great. And if this dies, worst case, you read a book, but let's hope you don't need to contact me. I also have my charging cord. I have like three of these for my iPod Shuffle, which I'll show you in a second. Um, this was actually amazing when I bought this cord. It was going to cost me $30, which is ridiculous because that's about the same price as the Shuffle, which they no longer sell. Um, and the store gave it to me for 30 cents, which, as I said, was amazing. Thank you, Apple Store and Penrith. Okay, then getting on to my wallet. This is my passport wallet. Obviously, it's got money and my cards in it and my passport. But it also has my iPod Shuffle with my Apple headphones, which I absolutely love. I'm not going to take it out because it takes forever to wind up, but this Shuffle, I know that they don't sell anymore, but I really think they should. It was so cheap and so handy, and as I do a lot of sports and I'm just sitting down in a lot of places, it's so light. It has a clip on the back, so it clicks to you, and once you figure out how to use a Shuffle, it is fantastic. And of course, I have my iPhone 5S. I'm probably going to upgrade this in the next couple years. I've been looking at the um, Moto Z with the changeable back. I think that's really cool and hopefully will get me out of the trinity of Apple. Yeah, and I got all this in a Starbucks wallet, which I got in China, but I absolutely love it. It fits everything and even has like little holes in the bottom where I can charge my phone and my iPod and anything that I can fit in here um, without having to take it out, which is great so you don't lose anything. When I am on a plane, one of the most important things that I can think to carry is my headphones. And I have these amazing Bose headphones. I did not get the sound um, reduction ones, the, um, the ones that repel sound, can't think of the right words, um, but I did get the old generation Bose um, headset and the sound is absolutely beautiful and they, they actually really quiet now um, surrounding noise, so which is absolutely fantastic because like, um, planes are so noisy, even when everyone's asleep, the engines are just so loud, but these are definitely a lifesaver, and of course I have my $7 little adapter so I can plug into any of the planes, because sometimes I have these weird double connectors, um, and when I didn't have it, I'd only have one earphone working and it would drive me bananas. So a 13 hour flight, this is what I recommend for you to take, if you take nothing else, take this. As I work with computers all the time, I'm getting a little bit blind, um, my eyes just take a while to adjust, so obviously I have my glasses with me at all times. I also have my sunglasses, but I really don't know where they went. Um, but yeah, always have my glasses, it's a little bit hipster, but I love them. And finally, just because I don't like keeping all my valuables in my suitcase, and my suitcase was getting a bit weighty because my airline had a really small like, weight amount, especially for me traveling for five months. I keep all my jewelry with me in one little piece, that way I don't lose it, it doesn't get stolen, I know right where it is. <sighs> so that was a lot to go through, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you think the essentials are for taking on a carry-on for traveling, or just tell me what's in your bag. Link me to a video down below in the comments. Check out the description below for details on some of the products which I've shown you today, which I travel with. I promise I'm not sponsored, I just really like them. Also check out links to my Instagram and my Threadless shop, they're down in the description, and also there's a link to my previous video. If you want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up, and if you liked it, how about you subscribe so you can see more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!